Hey y'all and welcome to a brand new video. Sorry I haven't uploaded for like two weeks. My aunt died so I had to come home unplanned to go to her funeral and just to mourn and grieve with my family. And don't get me wrong, we are still going through the grief process, but I needed to get back to doing what I love to help distract me and make me feel a little bit better. As you probably can tell, Milo is around. He actually went to the vet today and everything looks good. So in today's video, we are going to try out some abstract painting. I've done it before, so this is not my first try. I did some abstract painting for my very first apartment back in Tuscaloosa at this very long hallway and I needed some artwork and I had a bunch of canvases and I couldn't afford to go out and purchase artwork. So I just painted a bunch of canvases and on some of them I did abstract geometric shapes. And that's basically what I redid today. Um, I only did one painting, I wanted to do more, but I just, I didn't have the time, unfortunately. I only have like a couple of hours in the day to film, and then I can only edit at night when I'm home because, um, I still haven't told my parents that I do YouTube. <laughs> I know I'm 24, and like, I can do whatever the heck I want, and I don't have to get like my parents approval or permission anymore, but I'm just not ready yet to tell them so I'm still hiding it. <laughs> Usually when I come home I pre-film ahead of time so that when they are at work I am editing and getting everything ready to go and I haven't been able to do that because well I wasn't able to pre-film because this trip back home was not planned. <laughs> Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm sorry for my long ramble and yeah, let's get to it. So the very first thing that I did once I was set up was to open up my gouache paint. I had really wanted to do this painting with acrylics, but my parents just got a brand new dining table and I didn't want to accidentally get acrylic paint on it. So I brought these water-based paints instead. That way, if any paint does accidentally get on the table, it is easier cleanup. I opened up my tiny sketchbook, spritzed my paint with water to rehydrate it, and then started painting. I wasn't sure which of the darkest paints was the navy or the black, so I tried the first one and obviously this ain't it. So I fixed it. At first I didn't want to bother painting the paper in between and behind the spirals, but I changed my mind when I wasn't recording the paint drying because I was bored and wanted time to move quicker. <laughs> I wasn't really sure what I was going for with this painting except that I was doing the same concept as the one in my old apartment. I had no idea the color scheme only that I wanted the lines breaking up the colors to be black. After I'd painted the paper black and was mostly dry because let's face it I'm too impatient to watch paint dry. I started to stick down some washi tape. Now back in Nashville I do have regular painters tape that I now use, but all I had here was an old roll of washi tape. Come to think of it, I think I used washi tape with the first painting that I showed y'all earlier. Which by the way, I do still have that painting, it's just in a storage unit right now. After I laid down the washi, I painted over the edge of it with black as that will help the colors from bleeding through the tape and will allow for really clean edges. which. I find very satisfying. Once that was mostly dry, I started laying out my colors. How I went about picking the colors was I wanted pastel, which meant I would have to mix white with these colors as my gouache does not already have pastels in it, and I just picked out colors I liked and that I thought went together. However, I realized as I was painting that I could just do the colors of the rainbow since I was only missing orange. By the way, orange is my least favorite color, so it makes sense as to why I remembered it last. I also thought the original pastel orange I had mixed was a bit too red for what I wanted, so I added a little bit more yellow to mellow it out. <laughs> After I mixed each color up, I started to lay down that paint in the blocks I had taped off. I laid it on pretty thick because gouache is water-based, and when you layer gouache paint on top of gouache paint, it reactivates the layer beneath it and I didn't want the black underneath to mix with the color on top, so it's thick. 
I ended up doing, I think, two layers for each color. After finishing up painting the colors on, it was time to rip off the tape. This was the messy part, because I didn't pull the tape off based on what I laid down last. No, no, that would be too easy. Instead, I made it extremely hard on myself by just pulling the random pieces of tape that ended up pulling other layers of tape, all while wet paint is just sitting on top of them. Once it was all pulled up and I saw there was minimal damage done, I went and washed my hands before coming back to do a few touch-ups in the colors and the black lines. And this is the final product. Once again, I'm so sorry I couldn't do more this week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye y'all.